good morning from Cleef. There was quite a few hikers tenting out here and the cars keep passing all the time so I think there are lots of people going to the southern terminus. I got my pack on and now I'm heading for the southern terminus. It's a little ways up hill. I got to meet Scout and Frodo just a few minutes ago. They are trail legends who have a hostel and they bring hikers to the southern terminus. They were saying that this is last year they are going to do it, but you never know. <laughs> the wall and right by the wall is the monument of the southern terminus That's the border wall behind me, and there, there is Mexico, right behind the wall. I'm going to pick up my backpack from the terminus, and that will be the start of my true hike. Now I'm leaving the southern terminus behind. I'm offici officially taking the first steps on my true hike. First I'm gonna go back to the cliff where I started and I'm gonna fill up my water because it did not make sense to carry all that water up here. And then it's just hike, hike, hike for the next six months. This is the very first trail sign. And then it's just following the trail. I met an Irish girl a while back. Nice to have some fellow Europeans on the trail. And I actually, <laughs> I already met the first people who asked me, are you the Finnish guy? And I was like, yes. And they were like, you're famous. You had problems at the immigration. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's me. There is some shade. <laughs> and some actual trees. I think I won't be having this kind of luxury for long. Oh, there's a cactus. I'm so excited about pretty much every cactus that I see. <laughs> Those are so exotic for me. And it keeps getting hotter. This is one of those places that you see on everyone's PCT videos and photos. The railroad crossing. Three miles done, 2,647 to go.
There is someone who already got out his parasol. I put my Velcro strap somewhere so deep in my backpack that I have to look for those so that I'm able to attach my parasol there on the top of the hill you see the wall so we're still kind of close to the Mexican border all right I filled up my water with the last rel reliable water for like 15 miles so now I have very heavy pack with a lot of water and I put up my parasol I don't know if it's in best possible position but let's see if it helps I met Big Owl and Rabbit and Hoover at the stream so it's nice to get to know the people who are hiking the water at 4.4 miles the trail has been pretty exposed so it's hot out here it's noon so the sun is shining scorching me and I'm getting higher and higher up but as I go up there is this light breeze So many flowers. Everything seems to be blooming out here. Just look at those mountains. <sighs> Amazing. I think I climbed on the top of this hill. Very exposed, pretty hot. having a little break in here. I was hiking for a while with a woman called Big Owl. She's a doctor of infectious diseases from Boston. Pretty cool person. And I've done now about 11 miles and it's 1537 exactly. So there is still a lot of daylight left so I think I'm gonna push it all the way to Hauser Creek which is somewhere around mile 15. So then I will be able to do the uphill from there next morning before it's horribly hot. <laughs> 